In one of our previous videos, we looked at two mid-range products from Logitech that allow users to easily put up a multi-device setup. Although those two devices offered a lot of features to users, some would say that they are a bit on the expensive side. So this time around, we're going to look at more budget-friendly options from the same brand that should give you more or less the same functionality at a much cheaper price. This is Geek Republic and today we're reviewing the Logitech K380 keyboard and M590 multi-device mouse. The Logitech K380 is a smaller brother of the K780 keyboard that we reviewed a few months back and as such has almost the same design with the exception of a numeric keypad. The K380 has the same circular chiclet style keys as its bigger sibling as well as the same multifunction row of keys at the top and the three oddly colored quick switch keys. But this time, the LEDs are not placed on the keys but are on the body of the actual keyboard. Another difference between the two keyboards is how they connect to devices. The K780 has the option of connecting either through the Logitech unifying receiver or through Bluetooth, while the K380 is limited to only a Bluetooth connection. The Logitech K380 also does away with that tablet or phone holder groove at the top, which makes for a significant reduction in its weight compared to the K780. As for the M590, it slightly deviates in terms of design from its bigger brother, the M720 Triathlon. For starters, the M590 can only connect to two devices and switching between these devices is done through the button at the top of the device. It also doesn't have the hyper-fast scrolling option as the M720. When it comes to longevity, Logitech keyboards have always been known to have great battery life. Both the K780 and K380 are powered by two AAA batteries, and I can confirm that both can last for a very, very long time. In fact, my K380, which has been with me for almost 3 years, still runs on the original batteries that came when it was delivered. The M590 is a different story though. The mouse is also powered by a single AA battery, but Logitech doesn't provide any information on the M590's expected battery life. Based on my experience, the single battery should last for around 2-3 to three months depending on use, which in my case, every day using the USB receiver instead of Bluetooth. When it comes to software, both the K380 and M590 are supported by Logitech's Options Customization software, which allows the user to customize numerous aspects of the device's functionality. These include pointer and scrolling speed, scrolling direction, as well as changing the function of the mouse's extra buttons. Of course, again, there's Logitech Flow, which gives both the mouse and keyboard the ability to work more fluidly with two or more devices. With the Flow software, you can do copy and paste actions from one device to another, as well as link your keyboard to your mouse so when your mouse moves from one device to the other, the keyboard also follows. These feature only works with Windows and Mac computers and laptops. If you're moving from a mobile operating system, you'd still need to press the button that corresponds to the device you intend to use. The key feature to take note with the K380 and M590 is the support for Logitech's Flow software. By having the ability to almost seamlessly connect two computers, Logitech is able to make a somewhat mini ecosystem that offers a great experience to users on top of the usual customization options one would expect to come in these kinds of devices. Another praiseworthy feature that can be said, especially for the K380, is battery management. The device's 2-year battery life is indeed incredible, and no other computer accessory that I've used in the past comes close. As for the negatives, I would have preferred if the K380 came with Logitech's unifying receiver as the connection is more stable than Bluetooth. To sum it all up, the Logitech K380 and M590 are probably the best budget options for those who are looking to get a multi-device setup. Logitech is at the forefront of the development for this multi-device niche, and I think they're probably the only big name accessory manufacturer with a robust offering. So that's it for today's video. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to Geek Republic PH and follow our Facebook page and Instagram account for daily tech updates.